Prince Harry and Meghan Markle caused a few rumblings within circles close to the monarchy after their recent rip to Nigeria was dubbed a mini-royal tour. There's been increasing speculation about whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will lose their titles, which some speculated allows the couple to seek royal treatment on overseas visits, following their decision to step down as senior members of the firm in 2020. But as reported earlier this week, they're unlikely to be stripped of the monikers, because the royal family has opted to ignore them and let them get on with it, an expert claimed. The couple, who have distanced themselves from the royal family, now reside in Montecito, California, with their two children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Harry and Meghan lost their ability to use their HRH titles in 2020 when the couple decided to take a step back from royal duties. Harry remained a prince, and the couple kept their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, but are no longer addressed as his Her Royal Highness, HRH. He also gave up his military titles and no longer wears army uniform in public. However, as we previously reported, it seems that King Charles has been paying a high price for the removal of the California-based couple's HRH titles, because it reportedly further fueled their desire to speak out. As royal editor Royonekha said, if the past years have shown anything since the Sussexes stepped down from royal duties, it is that banning them from using their HRH titles has only emboldened them to take on all the battles that royal life once prevented them from entering. Prince Harry has been on a truth-telling spree for the past few years, taking part in a number of high-profile interviews, as well as his and Meghan's 2022 Netflix documentary, and his 2023 tell-all memoir Spare. The allegations in Spare Rock the World, with many shocked at the claims including a bitter feud between Prince William and Harry. Furthering the spat between the brothers, he also revealed that the alleged altercation took place at Harry's then home in Nottingham Cottage, on the grounds of Kensington Palace, when William is said to have called Meghan difficult, rude and abrasive. Later in the memoir, the Duke also claimed King Charles pleaded with his sons to stop fighting at Windsor after the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. Despite the tension however, according to royal commentator Ingrid Seward, Meghan and Harry's titles are here to stay and the royal family are taking a subtle approach to how they deal with them following their recent Invictus Games visit to Nigeria. She explained that if their titles were taken away, Meghan would simply adopt a new one. Ingrid clarified, I don't think anything will happen to the titles. Because if they lose their titles, Harry is still a prince of the blood and Meghan instead of being the Duchess of Sussex, would be Princess Henry, that really would confuse the Americans. Ingrid suggested it would appear unkind and unnecessary for the royal family to strip Meghan and Harry of their Sussex titles. She went on, I think the best thing is to leave them, ignore them, and let them get on with it, which is really what the palace and the royal family are doing.